Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Basically today, we're gonna try to do a quick video today because the weather's not great as it has been for the past few days. It's trying to rain right now. So, I'm quick go to the location. Hopefully, be driving for where I can sit because I have to do the old fashioned way today, guys. I've got a Q&A video for you, but I have to do it through my book because my other phone is in, basically getting fixed in a minute. So I can't do it off my other phone. And then that way around. So I have to do the old fashioned way and I've written all the questions down. It's in my book and I'll be reading it straight from the book. Today is top 10 questions that you guys have been asking on social media slash off social media. But I'm gonna do one extra one as like a sort of a, an answer that you guys can, no, sorry, a question that you guys can also answer below. So what I'm gonna do is gonna roll the intro, get into it, and then just get the video out of the way with. I'm hoping it'll be up by nine o'clock tonight. I'm trying to sort out time schedules and trying to sort out days I can do. But we'll see you guys soon. Right guys, just wanna apologize about the wind in advance. I am on the way to location, but before we actually get into the Q&A today, I, I got asked a frequent question, and obviously, instead of doing it at the end of the video, I'm gonna ask you guys now, and let me know in the comments what you would do. And the question was, if you was told you had a short period of time to live, what would be the main thing you do? Now, thinking about that question is, is not an easy, answer because you have to think basically like your family wise and what would you do without your family and what would you do with your family to me i think i'll probably just do what i usually do i'll try to do as much content as i possibly could throw out there in the short time i had left because i think if i throw many 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 content out there even when it comes to the time that i was gone people can watch it people can remember me by those videos the last couple of videos, the videos in the past, the videos that was done before. Obviously, the videos in the future obviously will be weird to watch because they'll be there to be posted, but I won't be. So, obviously, if I got told I had a short amount of time to live, I think personally I would do as much content as I possibly could until that time was up and just give back to you a lot. Obviously, at the moment, guys, as I'm walking to this location, you guys have been blowing up my phone with tells. You've been blowing up with asking me questions like, when's my next vlog? When's my next video? When, like, what videos do you want to see? You guys have been blowing up today, and I really, really appreciate that. So keep blowing my phone up, guys. Keep asking me questions. I've had questions about me traveling, doing videos like that. And people want me to do London, Manchester, Whitby. Scunthorpe. I'm thinking about Doncaster. There's a lot of places I do want to do. Sorry about the angle, guys. But uh, obviously, I'm at the usual spot today, guys. As you can tell, background's there. Uh, weather's a bit shit. So, obviously, we are forecast to a storm today. So, that I'm guessing is probably the storm. So, hopefully, this location can keep me dry. Hopefully. Again, sorry about the wind. But yeah, so basically, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what would you do if you had a short time left what would you do those what would you do in the last time like the last few times you had like if you did social media like what content would you post or if you wanted to go do some more family or do something that you've always wanted to do in life let me know in the comments what you would like to do but i think i'm about five minutes away from the location guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a little time lapse walk in there do the video and then end the video today's gonna be a short one only because like i said you can see it behind me i've got the storm and as you can tell it's getting worse as i walk so yeah like i said guys if you want to see part three to lord lines also let me know in the comments also let me know in the comments what color hair you want me to see next i'm thinking about doing my hair black but mix with something like a, a purple or half white or half gray or i don't know but i'm thinking something all black or if not full black so let me know what you guys want to see with my hair i'm not gonna lie guys it is fucking warm though 
It's like it's, it, the, the weather's shit, but it's warm. And that's UK for you. So obviously, if you live in the UK, you know what I mean by that. It's, it's like muggy weather. But yeah, be at location in about five minutes. So see you guys in a sec. Right guys, now that the time lapse is out of the way, as you can tell, I'm at the damn area, ignore my hair. Obviously, in the time lapse you'll see that I've just been doing some a little bits of this. Me and Liam actually created this a couple of months back and it's still a work in progress. So I actually originally trying to get in there. It's a place that no one's allowed in. We're not sure why, because it's just a wooded area. We've checked out the perimeter, it's, there's no houses, there's nothing to it, it's just no one's allowed in it. So me and Liam wants to go investigate it, so at one point we'll be doing that. But I've got my trusty uh, handwritten book here with the questions. Let's do the old style way, guys, before, you know, we, people like me had multiple phones for creating. So basically, we're going to jump straight into it. Obviously. Sorry, guys, I thought someone was speaking then. We're going to jump straight into it, guys, and then basically, that'd be it for the video. If you want to see me and Liam do some more on this in the videos, let me know in the comments below. Or if you want us to start a brand new one, and me and Liam will come up and we'll start a brand new one. We might actually do a fair book to be fair. Because there is a place for a bit fair book, that's a bit bad to do. But anyway, that's for them. So basically, I'm going to jump straight to the question. So the question one is, what do you find beautiful about life? Well, the beautiful things about life is that there is so much... In life that people are experiencing that people don't know how to experience and there's things in life that literally just come out of the blue in possible ways so the things that i find beautiful about life is coming to places like this for one it's it's calm and it's nice you can relax yourself and basically just escape reality and you could just chill out and another thing i find beautiful about life guys is that basically when you do content like this and stuff like that you you actually realize you appreciate a lot more than what you do but non-social media way, the things I find beautiful about life is obviously people having families and stuff like that and having children and marriage and basically all, all like the main milestones that people have in life. Obviously, I've just hit mine. I'm 21 now. So to me now, I'm more thinking what I want to do in life. Hi, guys. Don't worry, mate. Enjoy your back ride. So obviously, as you can tell, it's a lovely area. But obviously, in life, there's so many different things you can do, and I find it beautiful because at some point in life, whether you're 21, 18, or if you're having a family, or if you get married, or whatever you're doing in life, there's so many things during your lifetime that you will find beautiful in it. And I think just getting to that extent of having that beautiful moment, I think that's what's worth it. But that's what I find beautiful about life, guys. So question two is, obviously, again, trust your fucking book. What is the biggest thing you have overcome? The reason why I picked that for the second one, guys, is I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for basically a situation. Now, when I was a lot younger, I had appendicitis. Obviously, for people that don't know what that means, it's like an appendix. It could burst. It's like septicemia. So, but it's not going to be like a lesson, guys. But obviously, I was actually pronounced dead with that. And... The fact that I was brought back to life and the fact that I had a second chance, it sort of made me realise that if I can overcome that, then I can overcome doing social media, I can overcome filming in front of people, I can overcome a lot of other things. So with me, I walk around with a scar on my body with a remembrance of... It's, to me, I don't rem remember it as, oh, I was dead, I'm alive. I remember it as I've been given a second chance to give back to people like I was given a second chance basically have a different style of life than what i was having so to me that's a massive thing that i've overcome like social media i've overcome a lot in it but to me overcoming that and having the surgery and having to relearn how to walk and all that to me it was a massive thing that i had to overcome 
so obviously I'm not going to go too much into details in it guys but if you want a story time on that I, I'm happy to because I know there's a lot of people out there that struggle with getting back up on the feet after surgery for different operations and stuff so if, if I can help I'll, I'll try to help as best as I can the question is who is your favourite song artist slash singer slash band whatever people want to say to me I'd say so, like people that in bands or, or solo singers but I don't see song artists but that's what I've been asked so with me as you guys can tell it's an FX slash Bryce Savage I do have a couple of others but obviously he is the main one that I listen to he's the main one that I use for content as well but if I had to go for like bands that I'm into I would say for people obviously that's emo and stuff I would say Fall in Reverse, Black Veil, Bride, Sleep with Osiris, Five Finger Death Point, Paramore, Most Trust in Y, like, I Prevail, like, those sort of bands. Obviously, with me, I'm, I'm more of a, like, rock person than I am soft, which obviously leads into my next question that I got asked. Are you a heavy or soft song, uh, song listener? Obviously, with me, I like my soft music to chill out to, but... Every day I'm listening to rock music, every day I've got some sort of heavy music on, so I would say I'm a bit in between with that. So, it, it depends really guys, but obviously as you can tell guys, I'm keep wiping my head and all that, because I don't know if you saw in the time lapse, but I lobbed a, a rock in there and it splashed on me, so it's like, it's sort of irritating my skin. A question that I, I actually wasn't going to answer but i'm going to anyway i got asked when was my birthday literally 24 hours after the day so my birthday was on the 3rd of july so it's like i turned 21 i, sp I didn't do a video guys because to me i, I wanted to chill out birthday because I I i'm not that high in youtube or anything like that I, I don't celebrate things like that probably once i get high in youtube i probably will celebrate stuff like that but to me it's just i'd rather have a chill out day and chill out night and continue my day so, so that was when my birthday was so next year guys obviously i'll be posting snippets of like birthday stuff and all like i did this year go check out the shorts for that go check out my tiktok page for that and um, same short basically but i post on tiktok first so i've done them ones done that one this one again it's it ties into about the beautiful things in life it's what's important to you to me i'm at the age i want to explore i want to go around the world i want to do content at the minute i'm not in the headspace of having a family and stuff like that to me i want to live my life just a few more years to like 25 maybe 30. well i say 25 i don't want to be like too old i don't want to be like running around after kids when like i'm in pain and stuff after i've done jumping and exploring i want to still manage to do that stuff but things that's important to me in life is having a family one day being someone in the world leaving my mark for when i go and basically giving a good impression for the people that i also do videos for um if you haven't also seen my video from the last week i think it was if not the other day when i did parkour Please guys, go follow Jacob. He's only eight years old. He's got a passion for parkour and free running. And he wants to do that in life. And sorry guys, the camera cut out then. Basically, as I was saying, that basically with Jacob's family, obviously they're an amazing family. And basically I just appreciate him so much. They love the parkour community. They travel around as well to go to events. And basically with Jacob, he's got a passion to basically learn it as he progresses and as he gets older. So with me, I've been in talks with his mom. I've sent him, so, sorry, sent them some photos of merchandise I personally want to create for Jacob. It will have my The Insane Creatures logo on it, but the rest of it was, is parkour based. So obviously if he wants to do events and stuff like that, I want him to basically have a feeling that he's made it already without even going through the events just having that merchandise personally for him so hopefully that will happen and personally if you guys are watching i appreciate you guys so much and thank you for meeting us and i appreciate the passion that you guys have as well for jacob for pursuing his career path that he wants to do and as well guys 
I just also want to say a massive thank you for basically inviting me to the next parkour place. And if I can make it, I'll make it. But if, if I can also make it, make it and you guys are happy with me making that merchandise for Jacob, I will personally bring it to you guys myself. Sorry guys, quit talking. But I'll personally make it myself and I personally bring it myself. I'm happy to bring it. And I think it will be a lovely little surprise for Jacob as well. So guys, like I said, please go follow Jacob. His Instagram will be in link in the description again. And if you haven't already, go check out the short video that I've done for him. So please, 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 guys, go check the guys out. But anyway, I'm going to get back into the question. question. So my next question was, what is your dream car? I have two. 1970s Dodge Charger or Dodge Challenger and Nissan Skyliner R34. I've always been into those sort of cars and if I make it on YouTube, they probably will be, if not one of them will be my first car. So, with it, without further ado guys, I think I've covered all the questions. No, I haven't. Last one. Sort of came off it a little bit today, guys. But obviously, what do I want to be remembered by? I want to be remembered by me doing my YouTube. I want to be remembered by basically bringing content to you guys. But at the minute, I just want to make it more of an impact on other people than myself. At the minute, with my headspace, I, I want to bring more content for people. I want to make rea uh, reality content for people. I want to bring people into content. So, if you guys watch me and you see me, for example, in Sheffield, Manchester, Cleethorpes, um, Doncaster, any of those sort of places, or Lincoln, if you see me, do not be afraid to come up to me and talk to me. I will talk back, and if you guys want a shout out, I'll give you shout outs. Personally, I don't know who's been sending themselves today, guys, but you guys have been blowing up my phone all day and still are now. I appreciate you guys so much, and you, the recent tell I got, had was basically to focus on YouTube and just keep pursuing it. And to me, guys, that means a lot. So I'm giving everyone on Tales today, if you watch my videos, a massive shout out. So basically, if you guys want to come forward and give me your names, you can on con in the comments. If not, go to my Tales and comment comment your name on that. And then I'll come in the comments. I'll give you the shout out. If not, I'll give you the shout out on TikTok. So please, guys, please, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Banners here. If you haven't already ch checked out Jacob's video and my Paco video, Make sure you go check that out. If you haven't seen any of the World Line videos, go check that out because part three will be coming out soon. So you need to make sure you watch part one and part two before you watch part three. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going because the storm's about to hit. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment below, and share with others. And I'll see you in the next one.